take 436. Hi, it's Kay. He Kay is human here, and I'm going to show you things to do if you do not have liquid latex or fake blood. Here we go with makeup effects. You will need Elmer's glue, tissue paper, two kinds of lipsticks, black and dark red, a paintbrush, and don't forget that sponge because I forgot my sponge. And a sharp tool to cut through the toilet paper. You can use scissors, tweezers, or nail clippers. In this video, I use scissors. If you use scissors, be very careful not to go deep. We got the we got the makeup effects for the fake blood there. We don't need any real blood in there. Just go lightly or or you can have someone else do it. Just make sure you do not harm yourself with this. We don't need the real stuff in this. This is makeup effects for a reason. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to take the toilet paper. Make sure it's a small strip so you are able to make the smile. You can do it as big as you want. You can do it as small as you want. Just don't, just don't go overboard. Here I forgot my sponge. My facial expressions are pretty great in this. Okay, you will take that Elmer's glue and it is not opening for me. It has finally opened. You will put that Elmer's glue on the tissue paper and the corner of your mouth to up to your ear if you're doing the Chelsea grin. I was doing the Chelsea Grin for a tutorial for one of my friends because they wanted to do Jeff the Killer for Halloween. I'm going to take that toilet paper, you're going to put Elmer's glue in the middle of that toilet paper. and You are going to place it right on top of the one that you put on your face. The edges that are sticking up on the sides, you will glue down. You don't want the toilet paper to just stick up as your first beginning, so you're just going to glue down both sides. And just blend that glue up into your face. As shown. Take that handy dandy sharp toodle, toodle, oh my god, tool and just carve in the toilet paper, not your face. Just be very careful. I'm keeping you under safety premises. See, I messed up at that part. It just went up. You can still, it doesn't matter how messy it gets. It's still gonna look the same, just to mess your look, which is pretty awesome because, you know, gory is legit. <laughs> like so I tore in the edges of inside the toilet paper inside the smile to make it depth and I'm going to take the black lipstick and I'm going to paint inside those creases and that smile to make it look deep Like so. Next I'm going to take the red and this is going to be your fake blood, quote unquote, blood. You're going to dab that on the paintbrush along with a little tiny of black. Don't put a lot of black because you don't want to overdo it. And you will put this over the black that you done before. This will just make it have depth in it.
you could do this part last, but I did it here, I guess. Um, you're going to take that sponge, you're going to put a little bit of black and a little bit of red on it. Put more red than black on it so your skin looks irritated. I forgot my foundation and everything in this video, so if you don't have any of that, here's how it will turn out. I went back in and shred up the edges a bit to make it look deep. You can do the same, it's all up to you. I'm going to go back in with the black and the red. Like so. You're going to take that sponge again and go around the cut so it looks irritated. Make sure there's no white spots such as the toilet paper showing. You want to cover all that up unless you're doing Jeff the Killer since his whole face is white. You can leave a little white I guess. It's all up to you. It's just going to turn out the same. And here we go, a gory smile, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that, like, was really bad, but subscribe and like, and I will post more. Bye!